This is Apollo Control, 81 hours, 27 minutes ground elapsed time. Still one hour and nine minutes out from uh, lunar orbit insertion maneuver, which will be a service propulsion system burned behind the moon. The time of ignition will be 82 hours, 36 minutes, 46 seconds. Burn time, six minutes, 12 seconds. Altitude above the moon, 2,858 nautical miles. Velocity continuing to increase, now showing 4,941 feet per second. At 81 hours, 30 minutes, ground elapsed time, this is Apollo Control. Shortly, Apollo 14 would slip behind the moon and into a radio blackout. Once there, the spacecraft's SPS engine would once again be ignited, this time slowing the vehicle and allowing it to enter lunar orbit. Uh, 14 Houston, ground. Okay, we're about uh, 45 seconds now to LOS, Ed. We'll see you on the other side. This is Apollo Control. We have had loss of signal as Apollo 14 went around the corner of the moon for the first time. Coming up on 11 minutes even until ignition for LOI. Mark, 11 minutes until ignition, lunar orbit insertion burn. At 82 hours, 25 minutes ground elapsed time, this is Apollo Control. As on all Apollo flights, ground controllers would have no way of knowing whether the LOI burn had succeeded until the spacecraft re-emerged from behind the moon and re-established radio communication. This is Apollo Control, 82 hours, 55 minutes in ground elapsed time, about 52 seconds away from acquisition of signal here as Apollo 14 comes around the moon on its first lunar orbit. Uh, go ahead, uh, 14. Okay, Apollo, we had an Okay, 14, we uh, copied. Apollo 14 had indeed entered lunar orbit. Soon the astronauts were sharing their initial observations of the moon with the folks on the ground. God, this is really a wild place up here. Hey, Ron, you're not going to believe this. It looks uh, just like the map. So instead of the, uh, I think the best description that comes to my mind is that it looks like plaster mold that somebody has dusted with grays and browns, that it looks like it's been molded out of plaster of Paris. Requesting that his troops get to work, Shepard concluded the sightseeing tour.